Consider how the Holy Spirit can make the Christian independent of outward circumstances. What a bright light may shine within us when it is really dark outside. How firm, how happy, how calm, how peaceful we may be when the world shakes and the foundations of the earth are removed. Even death itself, with all its terrible influences, has no power to suspend the music of a Christian's heart, but instead makes that music sweeter, clearer, more heavenly, until the last kind act that death can do is allow the earthly song to melt into the heavenly chorus, the temporal joy into the eternal bliss. Let us have confidence, then, in the blessed Spirit's power to comfort us. Dear reader, are you facing poverty? Do not fear, the Holy Spirit can give you, in your need, a greater plenty than the rich have in their abundance. You never know what joys may be stored up for you in the cottage, around which grace will plant the roses of contentment. Are you conscious of your physical frailty? Do you anticipate sleepless nights and painful days? Do not be sad. Your bed may become a throne to you. You cannot tell how every pain that shoots through your body may be a refining fire to consume your dross, a beam of glory to light up the secret parts of your soul. Is your eyesight failing? Jesus will be your light. Is your hearing deteriorating? Jesus' name will be your soul's best music, and his person your dear delight. Socrates used to say, philosophers can be happy without music, and Christians can be happier than philosophers when all outward causes of rejoicing are removed. In you, my God, my heart shall triumph, no matter my circumstances. By your power, O blessed Spirit, my heart shall rejoice even though all things should fail me here below.